Hi everyone, Shabbat Shalom Vorach. This week we read about one of the greatest paradoxes in Jewish law, the para aduma. Here is a man who is impure, touched a dead body, and they want to become pure, they want to become tahor. And the way we do that is, it's a procedure that takes a few days, but we basically take the ashes of a red heifer and we sprinkle it on this guy. And then, boom, he becomes tahor, he becomes pure. And here's the paradox. The one who gets sprinkled on becomes tahor, pure. The one who does the sprinkling becomes impure, becomes tameh. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe, whose your site was this week, learns from here an amazing lesson. And that is that in life, when we want to help the people around us, if we want to help those that are dirty, and we want to pull them out of the dirt, that may require us ourselves to get and become a little bit dirty. You see, throughout our lives, we have opportunities to perform acts of chesed. They can be spiritual and they can be physical. It can be teaching someone, helping someone, guiding them, giving them time, advice in life. It can be physical, giving them money or a job or taking them somewhere that they need to get to. And whenever we're ready to do that act of chesed, this little voice in our head goes on and says, yeah, but you know what? You know how much you can learn in that hour that you'll be teaching them? You know how much money you can make in that hour that you're going to go and drive them around? You know how many opportunities could come? You know how many things could come your way that maybe you'll benefit from? You know what kind of inconvenience this is going to be? Do you realize how dirty you're going to get by helping this person? And the answer is it's 100% true. No act of chesed is free. Every act of kindness, every mitzvah, costs something. It could either cost money, it could cost us time, it could be inconvenient or uncomfortable. The para aduma reminds us that chesed begins where our comfort zone ends. Shabbat Shalom.